Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch The Wars to Come, this is Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 1. Stop listening now, major spoilers, here we go. My heart is broken, man. I'm literally in tears right now. I had to actually stop watching Game of Thrones. I'm 43 minutes and 57 seconds into it, and uh, I'm just torn up, man. Um, gosh, I don't even know how to really break this news, man, to people that are fans of Khaleesi, because, like... I don't know, man. I, I, I just I, last season I said it. I said, don't put them damn dragons inside the tomb. And she didn't listen to me. And then all of a sudden now she goes down there and, and you got two pissed off dragons, man. Uh, Viserion and um, uh, Rhaegal. They don't even understand who she is. They can't recognize her. all they want to do is like blow fire on her. And, and just scream and roar at her, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if they want to be touched and loved, but it seemed like they wanted to bite her goddamn head off, man. And I don't know, I haven't, I, I don't, I, I, it sucks, man. I told her, I said, don't do it. She put them damn chains, she put the chains on the dragons, and now the dragons, they're, they're, they're huge, man. At first they were like baby dragons, like, I don't know, teenage dragons, or maybe like, I don't know, maybe like they were like, maybe they're probably teenagers now. So they're probably like a little bit less reasonable, because that's what it seems like they are. They seem like, damn, I'm either, I don't want to, I want to talk to you right now, mom. Why'd you lock me down here? And all they want to do is snap her head off, you know? But but I don't know, man. She can't even calm them down. She has no control over them. And then you got one dragon that decided to fucking take the car and just fly away. Well, not literally take the car, but he took the damn keys to the goddamn city and he flew away. Now he's flying all over the damn um, <laughs> the lands, all over the seven kingdoms, and no one can get control of this guy. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say, man. And I don't even know if the dragons can actually fit out of the the, the the damn tomb because the tomb seems like it's too small. And who's going to go down there and have enough courage? Is he going to send Unsullied down there to actually go down there? You know, I don't know. Because, shit, who's going to unchain them, man? And I don't even know what they're, what's going to happen if they do unchain these guys, man. Are they going to attack the other dragon because he was free? Like, who do I don't I don't know, man. I don't I don't know. Like, it's literally terrifying, man. It, like, I don't know. I was screaming at the damn TV, man. And I try to tell her, like, don't go. First off, I mean, I understand you have to go down there and do something. But, like, don't, 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 don't. Because I can't, I can't lose you, Khaleesi. I cannot. My heart can't take the even, the, the I don't know, the, the notion of you being chewed to death. You know, I mean, obviously you can't be destroyed by fire. So, I mean, the only other way, they have to bite your goddamn head off. Like, we can't do that, man. You're the mother of dragons. Like, I mean, there has to be a way. Like, and then check this out. Like, you know what's crazy about it? Maybe, maybe you know, this whole idea of, of Khaleesi freeing everybody and being the, the mother of, of the free people in the free world, maybe it's a bad idea, man. Because if we really love Khaleesi, we want her to be who she is. And she's unrecognizable. This is the first episode of, the, of, of season fucking five. And I don't know who she is, man, because she's scared. The mother of dra she's the mother of dragons, people. Like she was born out of fire, like the phoenix. She rose from the ashes and she had baby dragons all over her body, man. But now, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just never seen anything like this, this, this facial expression that she had. It, it hit my soul, man. And it hurts so bad, dude. It hurts. It hurts, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I have no clue what to say. I don't know if she's gonna have to kill these dragons now. You know, that's the pressure that we're sitting at right now, man. Is she gonna have to kill her? And they're not her, just her dragons. They're her children, man. I mean, when here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me let me kind of let me, let me pause for a second. I read this little article, man, that was saying that uh, season five of Game of Thrones is going to leave and and kind of go in a different direction than what the author, you know, what I'm saying George R. R. Martin, in his direction of like. This 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 uh, fight for power. It's gonna go in a different direction, and like I don't know, like it's it's supposed to be a good thing. That's what the article said, man. But but how is having Khaleesi be afraid of her children, and 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 how is that putting us, you know, as, as Khaleesi fans? How are we gonna how are we gonna survive season five, man? If she if she dies or something, dude. Like I don't I don't know, man. If she can't control her dragons, the seven kingdoms will eat her ass alive. There's just... 
I don't know, man. It's like there's no hope. It feels like there's just no hope, man. It, I don't. Ah, oh, gosh, man. I don't know, man. I just. I got nothing else to say, people. I just. um. It sucks, man. Anyway, man, we're out of here, guys. Thanks again for listening, man. We'll have a review of uh, the entire uh, first uh, episode of Season 5 uploading soon, man. Um, gosh, man. Say a prayer for Khaleesi, man. Please. Please, man.